Aloha, Rich Alverson here. This is ITS 148. And uh, let's see, uh, today is um, February 3rd. And let me share my screen. And so we're in, I guess we're in here. Um, last time, I think I ended at 8.17. I, I, I did 8.17, it was a short one. And, I've, and then, um, uh, so, uh, I thought about just leaving 8.18 for you, but it's pretty hard. So I think I'm going to do it, do a lot of it. All right, so let's go to 8.18. And in this, we're going to write a program that <clears throat> reads, reads in the name of an input file and then uh, Reads, uh, reads the input file using the read lines method. And then it, uh, the input file contain, contains an unsorted list of seasons followed by the corresponding TV show. Uh, and our program is supposed to put the contents of the file into a dictionary where the number of seasons is the keys and the list of TV shows um, are the values. <clears throat> so um, the list, got it. Okay, so let's see, can I make a picture? Uh, drawing board. All right, so we wanna make the list is like, the, let me just, do this first. So, so we've got uh, um, twenty. Okay, so the, the so so the list, the keys of the list are um, are uh, the um, the number of seasons, and then so okay, so it looks like this. Uh, Okay, yeah, we've got a, uh, we've got like 20, 20, that's a key. And then the, uh, the value part is a list. And it's the, it's the shows, it's the TV shows that uh, ran 20 seasons, see, but Gunsmoke ran 20 seasons, The Simpsons ran 30 seasons, Will and Grace ran 10 seasons, Dallas uh, ran 14, Law and Order also ran 20, and Murder, She Wrote, wrote uh, uh, 12. And so this is what, uh, so these are key, these are the key values. And um, uh, we're supposed to create a list that looks like this. So for 20, it would be, you know, uh, Gunsmoke, Gun, gun smoke, and this is a list, and the other one is what law and order, law and order. And that's the end of the list. Uh, comma, and then the next one would be there's 30, for example. 30 is it's a list. There are always lists, okay? Now uh, 10. 14 and 12, there are also lists, but it turns out that each one of these lists only has one element per list. You know, the 30 is the Simpson, Simpsons and uh, you know, 10 is Will and Grace and so on. I can't read that very well, but Anyway, so, and then it ends with, uh, com, you know, comma, 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 no comma, and then it ends. So that's, that's the dictionary. That's how it should look inside, okay? And then once we have the dictionary, then we loop through the dictionary and we create this output file. And, uh, it, and the output file looks like this. By the way, these are the keys. Oh, and it's sorted, okay? It's sorted by 
you know, the key value uh, by the key. And, uh, and if there's more than one item in the list that prints out, you put a semicolon in between them. And then it creates another file that, that just uh, lists out all of the TV shows in alphabetical order. Okay. So that's what this program is supposed to do. And that, it's described there. So, so let's get started. Um, how am I going to do this? I have a... Um, See, do I have this replit thing? R E P L at replit.com. And I have a, I created a, I have a teacher version of this. How should I start that out? All right, I got to start out my, my teacher version of this. Um, and uh, I think I can make it so, all right, well, Right now, I guess everybody will be able to see it, but uh, I got to learn how to do that. All right, so um, so I'm going to create a project. Oh, here's 8.17. That's the one I did last time. I'm going to create a new project, a Python project called Lab 8. Point one eight, uh, and um, this project is only accessible to its published. Oh, I got it. Did I select Python? Python. And do I have a? I'm going to put some a more name, more of a name. Lab sorting TV shows or some, some such thing. Sorting TV shows. All right, create. Uh, okay, so um, now can does this work? No, this is this is. Um, let me see if I can open up open this up in another does it work if I go like this that's right I shouldn't be on Firefox Firefox doesn't work very well with this okay yeah this looks fine okay, how do I get to click Oh, here, REPLs. Just get in where, uh, oh, I guess I have to publish these things, huh? Let me go back to, um, oh, never mind, I can do this later. I'll, I'll figure this out later. There's, there's, a, there's an audience today, so, so I'm gonna get, get to this. Okay, so um, the question, um, all right, so first of all, this is the input file. What does the input file look like? Looks like this file, uh, I'm gonna download it. Uh, let me open it in Windows Explorer. Can I do that? And let me open this, can I do that? Ah, okay, so here's the file. I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this, copy. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna create a new file in my replit called file1.txt. And here I am, I'm in there and I'm gonna paste this now. Does this work? No, I guess I gotta do control P, control V, I mean, there it is. And so there's my file one, great, I've done that. Now to, um, so first of all, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna read in the file. So I'm going to say um, file name equals input enter file name. And you probably don't want that when you, you probably don't want 
this when you submit it here. Uh, but I do because I'm going to be running it over here, and I want to I want to know what's going on. So there there's that, and then I'm going to say um, uh, then I'm going to uh, open up the file and I have to have a handle, I have to have a name for it. So I'm going to say uh, user file is equal to open uh, and um, can I just do file name? Should be able to do this. And then I'm going to, because it already is a string, it should be a string. And then I'm going to um, read in, read in the whole file line by line, and I, I, I and it reads it into a, a, a list called out, output list. Output list. I'm going to call it input list. The key calls it output list, but I'll call it input list. Uh, user file dot read lines like that. So what this is supposed to do is uh, I ask the user for the file name and then I open it up. Do I need to put any kind of, and then, uh, and there's, it's got to, it's got to have a hand, it's got an object. It's an object. It, uh, and uh, this is a method that works with this, with the object which uh, reads up the whole file and returns a list where each element in the list is a line in the file. Now to prove that, I'm gonna just say uh, print input list. Do that and then I'm going to run the program, run. Enter file name and I'm gonna say the file that I just saved over here and I'm gonna say file one.txt enter and look at that it displayed out a list this is the first element in the list this is the second element in the list this is the third one so it looks like um you know zero two four six eight ten these are uh the going to be the keys of the dictionary and then as I read in these, I'm going to look at, or uh, I'm going to um, 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 add them to the list uh, that is the help, that is the um, value for uh, this element, for the element in, in the dictionary whose key is 20. Now, What's this um, this uh, return character, this backslash n? I don't like that. How do I get rid of that? Um, can I do something like, I'm on a list comprehension. Um, I'm gonna try to do this off the top of my head. I'm gonna call it input list two is equal to a list that is created by, um, how do I strip? Strip. How do I strip? Python. Strip new line. It's a strip function. Strip, just use a strip function. Do I have to do it that way? No. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll do it later. Okay, so um, so uh, let me initialize a dictionary. My dictionary 
um, equals, and this is how you initialize an empty dictionary. It's two curly braces. And then um, I, I'm going to create, uh, let's see. OK, so I think I need to set that up yet. Um, let's, let's create the dictionary. Um, so for each, so, so I have to um, um, iterate through the list and every other, every other element, um, I'm going to come across a key and then a value and a key and a value. So, uh, so for, so I'm going to use, use an, an, an iteration thing. So I'm going to have an index or index uh, in the range of the size of the list, the length of the list, output list, input list. list. Okay. So it's in that range. Um, and uh, let's see if the uh, So if index is if index is even, then it, it is uh, a key value. Um, if index is odd, um, then then it is a uh, the value part, and and if it's a value part, then it's going to be attached onto a list that is the value part of a of associated with the dictionary key. Now, that probably didn't make much sense, but um, I'm going to check to see if we are looking at an index part. See, this is this is looping through all the elements. I'm going to see if I'm on an odd index or an even index. So if I'm on an even index, if index mod two is equal to zero, then I'm on an even index. Then I I have a key value. So I'm just going to um, save. I'm just going to save the key value. Um, let's say uh, um, dictionary, dictionary key, diction key uh, equals um, input list uh, of index. It's this, it's this way. Uh, and uh, and I and I I'm going to do the stripping thing here. Okay, I'm going to do the stripping thing here. What do I want to strip? I want to strip that this thing. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, okay, so this is the key, and. Uh, And then if I go um, else, um, if index mod two is odd, that means that we have a value. We have a we have a a, 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 a television show name, and we also have. We also have this value because because that was the previous one. Okay, and the first the first one is, is going to be even. So the first thing that this first time this thing runs, uh, we're going to be here, and it's going to store it as a, as dictionary key. And then the next time it comes around, it's going to be this one. But we will have stored this one on the key at the in the previous cycle. So uh, we have this, and so we'll attach this onto the list. Um, I'm going to do this. Okay, so else. Uh, we are at uh, the name of a TV show. So then I want to um, say, um, uh, let's see if um, I have to see if there's already a dictionary value, if there's, there, if there's already a dictionary element that's, that, that, uh, that has this key. Uh, so I'm gonna say um, if, if, um, Oh, it's it's my if my dictionary 
my dictionary. Um, oh, no, that's not what I do. If dictionary fact, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? At this point, right here, I'm going to check here to see if there's an element, um, if this dictionary key is in the dictionary already. If it's in the dictionary already, that's fine. If it's not in the dictionary, then I'm going to, then I'm going to put an empty list as the, uh, the value part. Then when I get down here, there will already be a list there and I just need to append it onto the list. So right here, I'm going to say, if um, dictionary key, key uh, is not in, can I say not in, does that work? Not in my dictionary. I'm going to change this to diction. I don't, I don't like that. I'm so fashion. In my diction, if it's um, if it's not in my diction, dictionary, then I'm going to put it in my dictionary. And the way I do that is I say my diction, my diction of diction key is equal to an empty list. All right, equal to an empty list. Okay, now. Uh, um, if if my diction already is a key in my if if diction key is already a uh, key value in my diction, then it doesn't do this. It's already it's already there. So um, now that I've come around and I'm at the name of the show, I can simply say my dictionary of diction key of diction key dot a pen, it's a list, it's a list. It's a list, made it a list, uh, append um, input list of index, remember it's odd, so it's a, it's a TV show dot, and I wanna strip that stupid Thing off it. All right, that should do it. Okay. Do I need? Okay. So, um, so as I loop through it, I'm gonna I'm gonna strip off that backslash n. Um, yeah, the reason the backslash n is there is because it grabs the whole line, including the thing that makes it come down to the next line. So there's a there's a new line at the end of each one of these, which you don't really see, but that's why. And that's that's uh, carried along with it when we um, when we do this and create a list out of that. All right, so um, all right, so let's uh, this now it's all read into the dictionary. And I don't want to see what the dictionary looks like. Print my diction. See what that looks like. Run. File name, file one.txt, and there it is. Here it is, right here. So uh, let me get rid of this because it's confusing. And let me just run this again. And so here's our here's my dictionary. There's the the keys are 20, 30, 10. 14 and 12, and there's and each one of them uh, for a value has a list, key value. And uh, uh, the first one has two elements in the list because there's two TV shows. Uh, I'm gonna put a space here. All right, so it looks like we have a good dictionary there. Uh, so let's uh, sort the dictionary. Yeah. 
dictionary sorted. Okay, so um, I guess I want sorted by keys, dictionary sorted. Items. Not quite understand the key, key here, but okay. Let's um, um. So, I'm gonna uh. Okay, how do I how do I need to print this out? I need to print it out. Um, let me start start by printing this out. So I need to sort it somehow. How do I sort? Sort a Python, sort dictionary by key that by key, sort dictionary by key. How can I do this? Very easy. You simply do what? This work. This is two point four. All right, I'm going to just experiment. Sorted keys. Hmm. How about if I go? Um, <clears throat> sorted. Sorted. Okay. D keys. Okay. So. Um, Print sorted my dic diction um, keys. Let's see what this one does. File one dot txt. Okay, there. It's sorted. These are the key. Okay, so this produces. This is a list of the of the keys sorted. That's great. That's all I need. So I'm going to call it um, sorted keys. How's that for a nice name for a list of sorted keys? Took the dictionary keys, sorted them, and now I've got this nice list of sorted keys. And so the first thing I want to do is. Um, I'm going to try to print this. I'm going to try to create this list here. Try to create that. Do that. Um, okay, so I'm going to go like this. Um, output file equals nothing. Then I'm going to say um, for key for uh, for D key in um, sorted keys for that, and these are already strings. Um, Gotta look like. Oh, just did it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> output file equals append onto the end of output file uh, D key plus. Plus a colon followed by a space. There. So uh, now we got the first part, and now we got to go through the list. So now I'm going to do um, four T 
TV show in um, my diction uh, D key Okay, remember, this is a list. The first time it's this list, and the next time it's this list. Okay, so this is a list, and so for each TV show in that list, may only be one, but there's a, a there's at least one. I want to um, append output file plus equals. Um, equals a uh, plus equals um, TV show. Uh, plus semicolon. Okay. And then when we're all done, there's going to be an extra semicolon on the end of the last one. And we got to get we got to strip that off. So I'm going to say output file and it's going to be at the very end of the output file so i'm just going to say output file equals i don't know does that strip the last character off the output file i think it might it's kind of going to put output file uh yes okay so um Okay, yeah, that should work. And uh, that should that that should go through all the keys. All right, great. Now I'm going to print. So I'm, now I'm going to print output file. Print output file. Output file. Times. All right. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> Unmatched. Oh. That get there. All right, let's run this again. File one one dot txt. Oh, I have to put a, a new line. There's no new lines. There's got to be a new line here. I should I should put the new line right here, right after it 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 slices off that last semicolon. I want to add a new line onto that plus new line. Oops, there we go. Now let's see what's what's going on. And I tell you what, I don't have to print the dictionary anymore, do I? All right, run file one dot txt, and there we go. Oh, oh yeah, right. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. Hold. Should there be a space there? Let's see. Oh yeah, there should be a space there. So to do that, I'm going to make a space, and I'm going to make this minus two. All right, there we go. Perfect. So now all we now you all all you have to do is print that out um, and call it this. Okay. So you can look that up. Something like uh, you can look that up. Go go to go to here and look at how to write a file. You're just going to do this. You open it up, you write that output underscore file or whatever it was, print this just like that, and then, and then you close it. 
Okay, so that's how you print it. Okay, so that's that. And the next thing we, we wanna do is we wanna print out a list of the TV shows in alphabetical order. Okay, to do that, um, why, don't I, why don't I create a list? While I'm looping through here, why don't I create a list? So I'm gonna call it, um, just gonna call it um, TV show list equals nothing, a nothing list. And for each TV show in my diction, right here, it gets, you know, appended on to some list of here. I'm gonna also append that onto my TV show list dot append parentheses TV show. Okay, so that's gonna append it onto the TV show list. And then um, I need to um, I got to sort it. Uh, so I can just go TV show list sort. And then I can then I'm going to print TV show, and if this works is all I'm going to tell you, you can finish it up. What time is it? Okay. We can end early today. All right, let's run this. And file one.txt. And uh, here's the what was before. And here's the um, list, the sorted list of TV shows. Oops. So this is a sort of list of TV shows. This is the um, um, this is this is the list. This is the short. This I guess this is the sorted list of TV shows, and this is um, you know printing out the list. And so to print out the list, you know this this is like you do you would do something like uh, you know you could uh, well again you could create an um, a sorted list um, equals nothing, and you can do uh, four TV show in TV show list uh, sorted list. Hand on to that TV show plus and that should create your um, then you can print this sort of list. Not sort of key, sort of list. So this this is this. Here, you know, you create this TV show list is your sorted list. Here's so you can see what this looks like. File one txt, and you see this is what it looks like printed out, and that's exactly what you want this file to look like. And so again, it's the same as printing this out. You, we have created exactly what you need to print out. This is exactly what you need to print out. This is exactly what you need to print out. And here, here I'm just printing it out on the screen and you need to go back to uh, chapter 12 and look at the writing files and do something like this. All right, so that's uh, how are we behind? What what today is two three? Okay, exceptions. All right, so we will start exceptions next week. I guess we're gonna be a little bit behind now. Exceptions doesn't take very long. Let's easily do exceptions in one one class. All right, uh, do you have any questions?
Uh, not right now. Uh, uh, I guess I'm doing okay. Okay. Okay, right. thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming. All right, All right. bye. Thanks.